Hi, it's Wednesday, May 21st. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom and here's a field report. If you happen to wander along the High Street in High Barn at London, be careful not to step on Ben Wilson. He's known as the Chewing Gum Man and he makes small art of litter left behind. Hi Barnet, North London, an old market town where cattle brought down from Scotland would have the whole town boiling with excitement. As time passed, High Barnet has developed and changed. The High Street is wider and busier, the trees have grown, the horse and carts have been replaced with motor cars. Just like other towns in London and across the world, the streets of High Barnet tell the stories of people who walk them. Over the passage of time, these pavements have become marked with the trails of people as they leave their litter behind along with their footprints. One cold day in October 2004, a man appeared. No one knew him, no one knew why he came, and what he was doing and why is still a mystery for most people. Every weekday he's on the streets of High Barnet, in any weather. It may be in extreme heat, bitter cold winter nights, heavy rain or snowstorm. His name is Ben Wilson, and he is known as the Chewing Gum Man. I wish I found the rain worse. When we were first start, started doing it, um, I never thought that it would have gone the way that it, it's it gone now. You get a certain like continuity, you're there every day. That's why you have to be there in all like, weathers. Because uh, the situation just naturally kind of like unfold. Well done! <laughs> <laughs> what's the idea behind it? Well, I mean, it's, I just like painting on chewing gum. I like doing pictures. But I suppose it's transforming. It's a way of painting without actually defacing the pavement. You see. Well, if you think how can they deface it after you? Sorry, sorry. You're covering that part to deface. Yeah, that's what I mean. You see, so so police police can't do anything. It's very hard to work in a spontaneous way in your immediate environment without someone stopping you. But this is a way of doing it. It's not too much in people's spaces. Like advertising can be very. This is something very small, you know, and often. We end up doing pictures for people as well, so then the pictures end up, uh, you know, uh, reflecting different people's yeah. needs in a way. Yeah. 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 This is the new request book. Yeah. This is the old one, completely packed out. And then I didn't want to get another request book, because I knew if I went into that one, then I wouldn't kind of start doing these ones in here. But, um, another a woman, Tracy, who didn't think she was going to have children, then she had two. You weren't supposed to be taking any more. No, I could not take that one, actually. I just kind of keep on like, doing what I, like, what I feel. I, I think it's a good thing. 